Good evening, friends. One more day, one more Monday, and such a beautiful night. And these are all just for you. And uh, tonight, it is a very, very, very special night for us. Why? Let me start like this. Actually, let me uh, start tonight's show in a little different way. When you ask me why, because I need to talk about this um, young artist a lot. And for that reason, I really want to start with one of his uh, playing that he did last month. And then I think uh, it will be a good justice to start the show with him. and he's from Kolkata as well. How I met him, it's quite uh, fascinating. Um, the video I showed it to you right now, I just got it in WhatsApp and then I posted it in my FB and you know uh, that I'm very fond of good musicians. And so I asked a couple of my friends in Facebook that if they know that person, I was very lucky to find him and you can see that tonight he is with us. So let's welcome Shubhadra Kollan one more time. Hi Ragini, I'm Shubhadra Kollan from Kolkata, India. It really feels great to be a part of your session. I'm really feeling honored. Uh, hope we have a nice time together. So what is happening? What is going on? And what are you doing during this lockdown session? Now that it's the lockdown situation we are going through, we are not having uh, physical classes, but we are having classes online. Physical classes are more fun, but yes, we have to comply with the situation, so I'm attending the online classes. You are in second year of college, and uh, you are studying right now, and also uh, you are uh, in this lockdown period, so how the things are happening, I mean, what about college and what about uh, the other things you were supposed to do? College is really a nice experience for me. The principal of the college, the head of the department of English and the head of the department of journalism and the professors of both the departments are quite a lot supportive towards all my endeavors. They appreciate my works, uh, they appreciate the articles and the poems uh, that are published and the principal of my college always makes it a point that whenever any of my works are published uh, she is going to let my friends know about them by putting a notice up on the notice board about my works being published. My professors come attend my concerts and uh, my friends too are quite supportive. Uh, they are really helping me to grow. What was your first motivation to to become a doublist or I can say a rhythmist and uh, I really want to find out about your gurus and how you started uh, and uh, who really took you to your first day lesson. How I started is a very long story and I really cherish telling it. When I was on the cradle I would be exposed to various forms of music, Indian music in particular and a little bit of western music too. My father would play the cassettes of Pandit Vijay Jo, Gustav Ali Akbar Khan, Pandit Ravi Shankar and uh, the particular cassette that had the duet performance of Pandit Ravi Shankar and Lord Yehudi Menu in. I would really be inclined towards music and uh, I would often go to my grandmom's music room to bang on the tabla. My grandmom is a very good singer. My mom too is a very good singer. When I would cry they would sing Rabindra Shungit or Hindustani classical bandishes to calm me down. They being the modern parents didn't know about the conventional lullabies sung to the children. 
My parents gradually discovered that I was responding to various forms of rhythm, various rhythmic patterns. It's maybe because of this kind of and discovery uh, by them. They named me Shubhadra uh, the origin of music. One day they came across an advertisement uh, in the newspaper that Pandit Udaya was going to conduct a workshop on Drupad and the age limit was from 3 to 14. Having gone there, we found out that it was a printing mistake and the age limit was from 6 to 14. But Udayji gladly accepted us and uh, I used to attend his classes, quietly sitting on my mom's lap, observing him teach. All the other students were senior to me. I would keep quiet, but after a few days, I started singing with Udayji and my mom would say, stop it, stop it, quiet me down. But Udayji said in response to what my mom said to me, let him sing. When I was uh, three and a half, my father decided to take me to none other than Acharya Shankar Ghosh for learning tabla. My father believed that tabla was the backbone of all musical forms because tabla had the mathematical aspect of music uh, in it and mathematics is we know that backbone of all forms of science. Guruji accepted me as a student and I found a grandfatherly figure in him. I started learning sitting on his lap. The first lesson that he taught me was Tata Ghege, Tata with the right hand Ghege with the left hand. And I loved Guruji so much so that I would often ask my parents each and every day if I was going to Guruji's class that particular day or not. When I was seven, I was taken to Ustad Jainul Abedin for learning Kayal and I then shifted to Pandit Omkar Dadarkar and after my class 10 Bose examinations were over, I shifted to Nidushi Sanjukta Ghosh, my Guruma, whom again I found to be a very grandmotherly figure and she is very affectionate to me. She generously teaches me all she has learned and I try to learn from her. After my Guruji's demise in 2016, January, Bikram Kaku, Guruji's son, Master Bikram Ghosh, and I call him Bikram Kaku since, since my childhood, Bikram Kaku accepted me as a student and I was very fortunate for that. And I carried on to be in this lineage. So that's it. You are or were with uh, Pandit Bikram Ghosh from 2016 till now. And uh, what what is your feeling about him as a guru and a composer? It's a very personal question for me. Bikram Kaku is how I know him since the day I entered into the family. When I got him as my guru, he was very fatherly to me, he still is very fatherly to me. He teaches me with utmost care and affection. He not only teaches me tabla, but also teaches me the philosophy of life. He believes in an overall personality development. He is even uh, careful about me having a good physique so that I can survive as a performing artist. So he often arranges for yoga sessions for me in his class. He teaches me uh, the tricks of my hands and fingers not getting tired after uh, playing for a considerable period of time. He teaches me how to, uh, he, he teaches me the differentiation between a solo performance and a sangat performance. He, he, he has been very minute uh, since 2016 I have been learning from him. So till date he has been very minutely careful about every aspect of my learning the tabla and learning to be a performing artist. He suggests me books, he knows that I read a lot, so he suggests me books to read uh, so that I can uh, develop my individual mindset towards life. As a composer, I find him none other than, uh, second to none other than Pandit Ravi Shankar. For film schools, I think he has set a 
different trend and he has started a new era. And for uh, his fusion works, I can say this much that he is uh, thoroughly knowledgeable about the classical music of both the spheres of the world and properly juxtaposes them together and presents it in front of uh, the audience and his music touches the hearts of all people all across the world and I, I am always in awe with his compositions, his way of playing, his way of teaching. So he's a very admirable person for me and I love him. That was quite fascinating. So uh, as you were uh, learning from him and uh, you listen to other music as well. So who is your favorite musician or the composer that you adore and admire? When it comes to tabla, my most favorite musicians are of course my Guruji Acharya Shankar Ghosh and my present Guru Pandit Bikram Ghosh. After them, I love the performances of Pandit Nayan Ghosh, Pandit Shubhankar Banerjee and Pandit Parimal Chakraborty. I also love the sitar recitals by Pandit Nayan Ghosh. When it comes to vocal music, my most favorite vocalist is Pandit Uday Bhavalkar. I find his music relevant to every corner of my life and I often listen to his records. After him, I love the performances of Pandit Venkatesh Kumar and Vidwan T. M. Krishna. When it comes to string instruments, I love the performances of Pandit Ravi Shankar, Usad Ali Akbar Khan, Dr. L. Subramaniam, Dr. L. Shankar, and the phenomenal Vidwan U. Srinivas. When it comes to uh, Western classical music, I, I love the performances of Lord Yehudi Menuhin and David Oistrak in case of violin, and I love the performances of Clara Woods and Alfred Brendel in case of piano. And my most favorite Western classical composers are, of course, Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven. Among my contemporaries and immediate senior uh, musicians, my most favorite uh, musicians are Shubhendu Banerjee. He is an excellent harmonium player. Ashutosh Sahai, he is an excellent sitar player. And Ishan Ghosh, the phenomenal young tabla master. I want to request you that if we can play a little bit of um, a glimpse uh, from a video that I really like about it. It is, um, it is actually a fantastic composition and I do believe all my Bengali friends, they will love it from you. And uh, who are the lovers of music, they will be with you with this beautiful tune. I'm presenting a composition by Rabindranath Tagore, which conveys a message of eternal peace and joy for the universe. But at the same time, he plays fantastic violin. Do you want to hear it? Here we go. Now I'm going to present an experimental work where I'm going to accompany on the tabla me playing the violin. I have been inspired to do this by one of the recent experiments of my present guru, Pandit Bikram Ghosh, where he is playing the tabla with him playing the kanjira and one of uh, the experiments done by Pandit Nayan Ghosh long ago where he accompanied the tabla with him playing the sitar. This is going to be uh, something really interesting for you all and me as well.
Lockdown and hobbies, don't you think that this two goes together hand on hand because now everybody is home and uh, maybe not home but at least some time you are uh, facing home and you just want to be with your family so this is the time that maybe you are finding yourself something new so what about you? Well, uh, when I am at home I mostly love to listen to music, western classical music in particular and I also love to listen to oriental music, Indian classical music and various other forms of Asian music. I love to watch good films, classics by the maestros. I often wonder how they worked in the previous century because they didn't have electronic gadgets and appliances around them. I try to understand the visual aspects of the sequences presented on screen and I I try to understand the background score that justifies these sequences. I love to read a lot because I'm a student of literature. I love to read poems, I love to read dramas, I love to read novels. And I also love to write poems. I experiment on rhyme schemes while writing poems and my poems get published. I try to gather information on the people who have put India on globe and many of them have completed uh, their birth centenary year recently like Pandit Ravi Shankar, Usada Laraka, Pandit Nikhil Ghosh, Manna De, Hemant Mukhopadhyay, Majrul Sultanpuri, Naushad and of course Shoto Jitrai. And I, I put the information to good articles and uh, my articles are published in various journals. I uh, sometimes uh, try out different musical pieces just because I am a music person I, I try to play them like recently I have played one of Ray's pieces from Hirok Raja Deshe on Tabla Tarang and uh, the theme music of this film Shona Kella on violin so these are uh, my fun time activities I know I'm grown up a little bit but I still love to disturb my parents with these things Dear friends, if you want to join Talent Hunt, yes you can. All you have to do is you have to send us a 90 seconds video of yourself and just record. And you can be a singer or rhythmist just like tonight. But please send us your video so we can at least reach out to you. And since this is a lockdown period and we can go wherever, so please don't forget to connect with me. That is ragini at manatv.net. That is R-A-A-G-I-N-I -I at M-A-N-A-T-V.net. You are such a bright kid and uh, your story is quite uh, mesmerizing and lovely. We really want to wish you uh, I can say the best of the best because you just started your career and you are very creative and for that reason I want you to talk to my young artists or I can say that young junior stars um, who loves to watch. There is no definite uh, schedule for my practice sessions. I have always been given freedom by all my gurus to practice whenever I want to and however much long I want to. When I'm not practicing physically, I keep on thinking about music in my mind and uh, that's how that's, that's a process of practicing as well. My Guruji Acharya Shankar Ghosh used to say, apart from practicing physically, one should also learn to listen to music listen to various forms of music, which I do, and that's a process of learning too. So yes, uh, I am into music, I remain involved into music all the time, all day long. In that way, I practice for 24 hours a day. <laughs> You are a fantastic artist and you are so creative. My God, I really can't believe it. And I'm really so lucky to have you in my show. That much I can tell you. We would love to know about your future goals, that what you want to do or where you can see yourself from another two to five years. I really don't like planning a future because future is uncertain. I rather love to flow with time, flow with life, 
it's better to enjoy the present time I'm living in than planning an uncertain future. But yes, I would of course continue with my music. I would love to be a performing artist and uh, I would love to add a scholastic approach to the kind of music that I practice. With that, I would love if I get the time and scope to write poems because poetry writing is something I really want to do and I cherish doing it. So I would practice both music and literature simultaneously in future. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and thank you for giving me the chance to speak to your audience. It was a nice experience for me to be on your show. Thank you. Do you want to share your favorite memories with us? Guruji used to send me to different competitions since the time I was eight years old. And I stood first in most of the competitions. But in recent times, I have stood first in the Dovalin Music Competition, which is a very prestigious national level competition of our country. I not only stood first in tabla, but I, I was declared the topper among all the competitors of instrumental music. I then stood second in the All India Radio Music Competition. And then again I stood first in the competition conducted by West Bengal State Music Academy. I have received the Jadubhatta Award that was given to me at the Salt Lake Music Festival that was dedicated to my Guruji Acharya Shankar Ghosh. I was invited there to play the inaugural recital. And uh, next I received the Telegraph Award for Excellence. But among all these awards that I've received, the most precious remains to be the notebook that Guruji gifted me to take down the lessons of Tabla. And he brought a photograph of him himself, pasted it himself on the front page of my notebook and signed. So this, this remains the most precious of all my awards, all my gifts I have received so far. Another very cherishable memory of mine is uh, the day I was accepted by, uh, accepted by my Guruji as his Skandabad Shagad. He tied not, uh, he tied uh, the thread on my on the wrist of my right hand, and I was accepted uh, by him as his disciple as his Skandabad Shagad. So that is another of my most cherishable memories, my sweetest memories of my life. Shubhadro, it was fantastic meeting you and I do believe that all the success uh, should come to you and um, you are really a fantastic growing budding talent that I have met this time and uh, thank you so much for being here with me. Friends, for you, please make sure that you are with us for next week's talent hunt and I'm telling you that there will be somebody new and special just for you guys. So don't miss out your favorite show Talent Hunt only on Mana TV International. Thank you. Stay safe, stay well and stay at home. Goodbye.